name is Shorya Bansal, one of the coders on Fire Team. This is the first video in our tutorial series of getting started with Java programming for FTC. In this video, we were going over downloading and setting up Android Studio, the default FTC programming environment. Let's get started. The first step to install Android Studio is to open your Internet Explorer. I'm using Microsoft Edge. You now have to look up Android Studio. When you click enter, the first result is the download button. Once you navigate to the download page, you should have the option to install for your device. In this case, the device is Windows 64-bit. Let's let the page load. Once the page is done loading, we will click the install We will click the install button, accept the terms and conditions, and download Android Studio. Since the installation is 871 megabytes, it could take a while. I will pause the video and restart once the installation is done. I have just opened my file explorer and as you can see, the installer has finished downloading. I'm going to double click and open it. It'll take a few seconds to verify. You'll also notice a pop-up for admin privileges. Click yes. And continue. Now that the installer is open, we have to continue navigating. We'll click next, accept the Android virtual device, and click next at the default installation. The installation, since it's a big file, I think it's about three meg three gigabytes. They don't take my word for it. it. Could take a long time. So I'll leave the video and restart it once the installation is done. The installation has finished. We're going to continue with the installer. Click next and finish, and Android Studio should start. It seems that the installer opened up twice. That is okay. I'm going to quit. If you already have previous settings, you can import them. I will not import any settings and continue. If such a pop-up appears, you can choose what to do with the directories. I will delete them because I don't need them. Just make sure you don't lose any of your important information. Android Studio takes quite a while to open up the first time you open it, so we'll wait for it to open before we do the next step. Once it opens, you're greeted with the setup wizard. You can update the plugins, update, move it, we'll restart later, and click next. I'm going to leave it with the standard installation, unless you have a good reason to use custom, stick with standard. Since I prefer the darker ways, I will select the Dracula theme, but it is up to you which one you select. This will install the SDK. We can click Finish. And then it'll take its time to install whatever is necessary. I will stop the video and restart it once the installation of all these packages and files is over. I got the pop-up for, the, for the installation. Everything is up to date. I'll click Finish. And now you're greeted with the beautiful Android setup screen. The next step is to update all licenses. To do this, click Configure and SDK Manager. Then navigate to SDK Tools. As you can see, there's an update available for the Build Tools. 
I will select that and whatever other tools I want and click apply. I accept the download, accept these terms and conditions, accept these ones as well, and click next. I'll pause the video until this is done installing. The installations have done, and I will click finish. Now that we've finished installing Android Studio, the next steps will be setting up our first Android Studio project to work with the FTC libraries and syncing it with GitHub. Check, look out for our next video, which will cover exactly how to do that. If you haven't already, subscribe and hit the like button. If you want to keep up with the notifications of us publishing new videos, be sure to hit the notification bell. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day and have fun programming. Thank <laughs> you.